Hello everyone, welcome back to the Techie Savvy tutorial. Today I am going to discuss about one scenario where you have employed details in data, okay, which has employee ID, department ID, salary, and the month, right? So the final output which you want in the file format, right, it will be like this is the path where the file will get generated along with this right you have to generate a file for each employee so like employee ID 1 then file name path employee ID 2 slash the file name so this 1 and 2 right these are present in the data in the table right now along with this again i want department id dot text here department id will also come from the data present in the table right so here are two things one is employee ID for which you need to create a folder right one two if you have thousand employees then thousand folders for each employee a folder will be created inside that a file will be created that is again dynamic or based on the data which is present in the table right so most of us what we do we use copy rows to result right we use this component we take the data from this table copy all the rows here and then create a new job which will run one by one that means execution for each row and it will start creating those folders for every employee and creating those files right now why we will use this is here the logic is once the variable you get from the transformation you cannot set it and you cannot use in the same transformation that's why we have to use this component but now how to get rid of loops right so here is the trick I know I want to place a files of employees data or you can say for each employee at this location which is C data integration now my next task is at this path which is C integration I will concat employee ID department ID by slash separated now it will become like this now here the concern is how do I use in text file output the tricky part here is use this thing which is accept file name from field and when you run this code this is done and if you check here one is created and employee ID folder 2 is created right so in this way you have avoided n number of loops which you were going to execute to generate such data or you can say you are trying to generate data for each employees you are trying to generate a file for each employees so you avoided that loop concept here hence you avoided out of memory issues hence you avoided GC overhead issues hence you avoided the total execution time which is going to take when it runs in loops it might take 20 minutes 25 minutes here it will only take two to three minutes right so this way you can avoid loops 
if you want to generate data based on the data which is present in table input and trying to generate a file based on that data actually right like creating employee folders and naming convention also falls as part of data right so in this way you can achieve this thank you for watching if you like it please share it and subscribe it to my channel thank you very much